I've had this motor for over two years now. I've put over 200 hours on it and I can say it has been amazing. There's some things that I've learned. There's some frustrations I had with it the first year. So we'll quickly walk through those. We'll walk through the specs and I'll give you my experience with this motor over two years of using it. It's a six horsepower, four stroke Mercury made in Japan by Tahatsu. They're basically the same motor, Tahatsu 6 and Mercury 6. Anything under 25 horsepower for Mercury is made in Japan by Tahatsu. So quality wise and components, they're exactly the same. They may be tuned or timed a little bit different, but basically the same motor. This guy's 57 pounds dry, extremely portable. When I get back from a fishing trip, I take it off the boat and store it in the shed. Just easy, just pull it off, put it on a little motor stand. It comes with a 7.7 .7 by eight pitch prop, three blade aluminum, has a 0.3 gallon internal tank and an external tank hookup. The gas mileage on this guy is amazing. You can go over nine miles with that 0.3 gallon gas tank. Um, I did a video where I tested it against the miles per gallon performance of my truck and this actually went further on a gallon of gas than my truck went from a reliability perspective has been amazing i had a major issue when i first got it in regards to cold starting it was taking me seven to eight pulls i got that figured out the issue is when you use the internal tank the fuel pump and the carb loses prime so you got to pull a few times to get the system primed i've got a solution to that what you got to do is when you're done with the day, kill the gas valve so it doesn't backflow in the tank and keep your gas tank full when it's in storage. That keeps everything primed. Because what happens is here's your carb. This is where the gas has to get to, to go into your cylinder. Look how high it is. So what happens is at the end of the day, if your gas level's low and you kill your engine and you don't close that valve, the gas backflows back into your tanks. Here's your fuel pump. So you've got to pull, 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 three or four times just to get gas back into the lines to reprime the system. Also what you can do is hook up an external tank, pump it a few times to prime the system before you leave to get gas back in all the lines. That way your fuel pump doesn't have to cycle to prime the system. Price wise, this guy's around $1,800. You can get a tie to for maybe about $200 cheaper. Used, you can find one of these guys for around a thousand to twelve hundred if it's got low hours you can find a tahatsu maybe between nine and a thousand um, for a six also the four five and six are the same motor with a different carb so you can get a four horsepower get a carb upgrade kit and turn that four horsepower into a six horsepower for about 180 200 bucks performance and power when i first got this i wasn't that impressed with it but man i've got it tuned in now i've got the trim level where i like it i've got the weight distribution in my boat this guy will push this 12 foot john boat flat bottom around 16 miles an hour cruising we'll take the cowl off and look at underneath man beautiful underneath like i said in my previous review it's just super clean 0.3 gallon gas tank all easy to get to easy to change 15 ounce oil capacity i have read some reviews that oil capacity is relatively low compared to a six for a six horsepower so a lot of people recommend you need to change that you have to change that every every hundred hours some people change it every 50 hours manual says 100 or once a year so that's what we go by but make sure you keep that going single cylinder here's your single spark plug here one other issue that i've had this guy right here this prevents the pull start from working and engaging whenever you're in forward or reverse so you only want to start your motor when it's in neutral because if you start in a forward it's going to take off on you on my motor this guy was basically locking up the pull start when it was in neutral it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to lock it when it's in forward or reverse so i basically could not pull the pull start sometimes or it would catch and basically rip my, my arm out whenever um, I was pull starting. So basically just had to tune this. One interesting thing about this motor is watch the throttle here. This, there's the throttle. When you pull the choke, it gives it gas. This is the choke valve on the carb. I'm pulling the choke lever and it opens the throttle. So that helps with cold starting because it allows more gas when the throttle is open. So a trick, if you 
are having a hard time cold starting. The choke is engaging the throttle, opening the throttle slightly. What you can do is find this position on your tiller handle right when it, right there, bam. I'm turning the tiller handle right now. Bam, right there. Mark that on your tiller handle and then go a little bit more right there. And basically have the choke on and have your tiller handle throttle in throttle position to where it slightly opens the throttle a little bit more. The risk is you don't want to flood it. If you go too much and you open the throttle all the way up with the choke on, that's going to give it way too much gas. So you just want to barely, 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 barely push it a little bit further than it does when the choke is on. Overall, I've been extremely happy with this motor. This is honestly, no exaggeration, one of the best purchases. This guy has been amazing on this boat. It has completely changed how I fish and it changed my fishing experience versus having just a trolling motor. Being able to go and run the lake for hours without having to worry about anything. Being able to you know, run nine miles on a third of a gallon of gas is just amazing. Compared to Yamaha, I've got a lot of people asking me, well, what about Mercury versus Yamaha? Honestly, I've had a Yamaha two-stroke, um, four horsepower in this guy, and man, I like them about the same, honestly. I think there's so many common elements, let's say, between Yamaha and Mercury. Honestly, they probably share a lot of the same components and a lot of the same suppliers for component parts. That quality is probably pretty close and design's probably pretty close. I mean, with a small engine like this, you're not fuel injected, so, I don't, it's just kind of a simple design, which, which is great. So I don't think you can go wrong with either one of those. The eight pitch prop is perfect setup for this boat. Like I said, we can get between 16 and 18. If you're having a hard time playing it out, go down in your prop pitch size. Maybe go down to a seven. That'll get you on plane faster. It's gonna hurt your top speed miles per hour, but that will help. Cost effective, yes it is. Reliability is very, very high. Performance and enjoyability is great and I just I'm glad I got it I know it's gonna be a workhorse for me for years if you have any questions put them down in below in the comments We're gonna go hit the water cruise around a little bit uh, No wake zone Now we can give it a little gas Let's go Man this thing is awesome On this boat This boat's about 415 pounds loaded right now Cruising right now around 16 miles an hour. It is wide open throttle. Good 17 a couple of times, running right about 53, 5400. Wide open throttle RPMs right now. Hasn't missed a beat. Check this out. Been running about 10 minutes, engine's warm. I think it's gonna take a half a pull to start this guy. Restart in neutral. I'm gonna pull it out halfway. Well, let's say you have a hard time pull starting stuff. Now I'm gonna try a super slow pull. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. You don't need to spend $60,000 on a boat to have fun. Change the oil every year. Change your lower end unit oil every winter or every 100 hours. Keep an eye on your cooling water to make sure it's always pissing. One of the easiest ways to burn up your motor is your impeller being out and you not knowing it, you're not getting cooling water. That's the quickest way. So change your impeller every two years regardless. Use non-ethanol gas. Use a fuel stabilizer if your gas is gonna sit for more than two months those are critical to keep your carb clean do those things this guy is gonna last you for years and years and be super reliable you don't need to send it to marine shop learn to do them yourself I got a couple of videos where I did it myself learning myself you can reference those see the mistakes that I made this has been one of the best purchases that I've made and I'm truly enjoying this motor I'm glad I made it gets me out on the water. It's a game changer compared to having a, just a trolling motor. So if you're thinking about it, I'd recommend you go ahead and pull the trigger on one. Hey, I appreciate the view. Thank you as always for the support and the views. Have a good one. Later.